Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Corzine, for joining us. I uh, would like to follow up on a comment that uh, Congressman Scott just made. Uh, the Ten days prior uh, to the debacle, Moody's and Fitch had, uh, had MF Global rated as investment grade. Uh, was that a good decision ten days prior? The rating agencies, um, from uh, your knowledge of the company, was that a good assessment by Moody's and Fitch that you were investment grade? Certainly, the facts after afterwards don't make that um, uh, look effective as an assessment. But at the time uh, that they had last reviewed and were intending to review around our quarterly earnings announcement, um, uh, at least uh, several of them had put um, new assessment uh, directions into the works. There was assessment, so it was probably a poor one. Uh, I wanted to follow up on a comment that you made uh, earlier in questioning, uh, saying on October 30th, and it was in regards to uh, the commingling of assets, uh, you had thrown out the statement that we've got to find the money. Was that your statement? Was that the corporate mentality? It was That's all like, of us. It was all of you. Had Everyone been. felt an obligation to get the books reconciled. Wherever it was, had to be able to find that. Uh, I just want to get a sense, truly, I guess, of the of the corporate mentality. Uh, when you went on uh, to head up Global, uh, did you read through the mission statement and believe in it? Um, I can give you a couple of quotes from it. You know, MF Global is well-capitalized, diversified intermediary, and a strong conservative managed balance sheet. Uh, because of our financial strength and comprehensive risk management, clients can have confidence that they are trading with a strong counterparty. Um, it, was that your sense? Did you believe in that? I believe that those statements were right at the time and that um, we needed to enhance it with a growth strategy that would provide for the success of the firm as opposed to what had been in recent years. Right. As a, as a business budget. guy, and I'm, I'm a small businessman, was a small businessman until I took this job, uh, you had to look at it, not trying to mix metaphors here, you had to look at your business globally, knowing that the impact of one section of the business could impact another section of the business as well. Uh, when you made that determination, given the comments that we were just talking about in terms of the Fitch Moody's rating, of global 10 days prior as being investment grade. Looking out the horizon uh, into the Eurozone for those investments, given the foreknowledge that in this country with $15 trillion in debt, we had had our credit rating downgraded, did that tie back in to the corporate mantra and the beliefs uh, that you were just saying that uh, was the original intent? Or was it a risky investment that was going in the, the entire and, operation? And as, as I've tried to state, probably more articulately than I will do here, that with the analysis and the um, perspectives on how those particular sovereigns were looked at, mm -hmm. um, we thought there were prudent investments. Was that your personal investment? Would you have been willing to personally risk your funds? I, I absolutely was willing to invest and was investing in MF Global up until August. And I'm not trying to put you on the spot, and I, I know this is going to be maybe a little offensive from the standpoint, but where you were stock motivated, uh, did that help drive some of that decision because based off of the, the performance of the stock? To try and get those higher returns. Is, is one element, but also protecting the value of the stock is another responsibility. And as a shareholder, I would expect um, decisions to reflect those concerns as well. It's not it's not only performance. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, and I, I certainly agree with Congressman Scott. I can sense from you uh, some some agony personally over this, uh, but. 
believe me, uh, talking to many of our folks in, in rural America, uh, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, uh, that's not a nice evening out. Uh, that is all they have. Uh, and when we look at it globally, uh, I think we all have to be very distressed in terms of some of that collateral damage, uh, particularly now when we can't find $1.2 billion uh, of struggling people's dollars uh, to be able to meet their needs. So I'm out of time, Mr. Chairman, and yield back. Thank you, sir.